I'm very persistent. Giving up or failing is not part of who I am. I get great satisfaction converting an idea to something that can be used by everybody in the world. I retired at age 50. I was bored and I needed something to do. Came out of retirement approximately one year later. That's where it all began. As a kid, I had no concept of where I was going to go. I just wasn't aware of what all of the possibilities were out there, so I never had any real desire to do anything. Most of my life was spent designing and improving machines. It's very difficult to verbalize the 50 or more machines that I designed. Almost everything that I look at, I think can be improved and made better. After I had testing at Penn State College, they suggested that I would be very good in mechanical engineering. And that's pretty much the first time that I got involved with anything in the way of mechanical thinking or design. My first job was with the Firestone Guided Missile Division. Our challenge was designing the first Army surface-to-surface -surface missile. And then they had another project and was to design a missile launcher on a submarine. When they closed the guided missile division, that I started a company called Product Improvement Corporation. And we designed machines that were labor-saving devices. From there, I moved to another company and retired at age 50. At age 51, I could no longer stand the boredom. I attended a football practice at the local high school where the coach had the team running up and down stadiums. So I was saying to myself later on, what if you could come up with a machine that duplicated running stadiums? So I went from there to a drawing board, had the parts made, put them together, and there was the first Versa Climber. Within about a year or two later, we added the heart rate technology to the machine, and it was the first machine to use heart rate to control the intensity of your workout. If it wasn't for persistence, there were a number of times along the way where we were in trouble, but we met the challenge because there was just no possibility of giving up. It's uh, heartwarming to me to realize that there are people all over the world that are gaining benefits from the VersaClean. There's a saying that says the best way to get something done right is to do it yourself. We've applied that to the business where we build the first climber in the United States because it produces the best product.
My name is Dick Charnitsky, and they say that I've had a revolutionary impact on the fitness industry. In order to be an innovator, it's important to be a dreamer, to visualize something and then turn it into a reality. I will continue to do that until I am no longer able.